All right, right now we are checking out an 03 Silverado with a no start. It cranks, but does not start and run. And a scan shows that it's got a crank sensor code. And notice that it says circuit problem. So I got the key on and down here, I've got the crank sensor unplugged. And I'm pinned into the power and ground feed, which is a 12 volt uh, and a ground supplied by the PCM. And we have zero volts. So I want to know is my PCM supplying voltage? So let's unhook the ground section. And over here, I've got a wire jump to battery ground. So I'm just taking and plug this up here. And there we go. We've got our 12 volts from the from the computer. So now can the computer actually carry a little bit of current on that 12 volts? It's not it shouldn't take much to run that sensor. So I have a high impedance test slot. I'm just gonna pin that in here. You can see it lights up, and I'm still keeping close to my 12 volts. So my 12 volts to the crank sensor is good. My ground is bad. So now we need to figure out if it's a ground issue like via broken wire here, like if this ground wire is broken from here to the computer, or if the computer ground is bad. All right, so with our little Silverado here, I have determined that my issue is either with this ground wire, that middle one right there, going to the PCM or the PCM ground itself. So I'm going to, I'm going to test that wire right there. Let's zoom in on it here. So, come on now. So with this yellow black, I'm going to go from the middle pin, pin B on the crank sensor, to the pin 21 on connector C1 on the powertrain control module. And what I've got is I just under here I'm connected into my middle pin the yellow black wire with this this wire right here that I've just connected to a jumper wire and that jumper wire is connected here to my battery I got jumper cables on because this battery is a little weak but connected here so I've got Tesla here connected to power right there and let's see my test light's good this blue one is c1 and pin 21 is this one right here let me see if i can get you in here a little better so you can see this and i'm just kind of barely sticking my probe in there just barely touching the edge of it and my light is not coming on so that wire is not good from here down to my crank sensor. And just to make sure, this is, let's see, this is pin 40, which is a ground. So you can see that lighting up there. Pin 21, it's not lighting up. So that wire is broke somewhere between the connector here and the crank sensor down there. So let's figure out where that's broke. Right, I was doing just kind of a visual inspection, just kind of following the harness. This, the crank sensor wire is actually in this loom right here. It runs down and around the front of the motor. So I was pulled the cover off down here, just tracing the harness around, looking for bad spots and there it is. Something has just pulled this wire out and broke it somehow. So I'll get that put back together and this truck should be running. Okay, got this all soldered back together. Got it back in the loom. And then I also put my crank sensor back up. So now the moment of truth.
Where's Rada? Right 